Hello, my name is Chris, and today I just want to answer a quick question that I tend to get asked every now and again here on this channel, which is, why, why or why do my fingers and my toes tingle when I'm quitting smoking? What is this weird pins and needles kind of feeling all about? Should I be concerned? Is it normal? Should I, you know, am I dying? No, you're not dying. Yes, it's more or less normal. No, you may not need to be concerned. What you have to remember is that our bodies are not designed to take in all the toxic garbage that we put into them when we smoke. For some reason, we think so less little of ourselves that we are quite willing to attack and damage and destroy our bodies with these cigarettes. So we smoke, we literally, quite literally put our bodies under attack the body starts freaking out, I don't like this, I'm not supposed to do this, ah, what is going on? And it goes into defense mode as best as it can, until you just beat it into submission. As part of this, the blood vessels clog and they close, and it restricts the blood flow around our bodies, which causes all kinds of other problems. Then, the magic day happens, we quit smoking, blood vessels go hurrah we're healing we're repairing and they open up again that's the magic thing about the body is it repairs very very quickly it gets to work on healing very very quickly and the blood bus let me try that again the blood vessels open back up when the blood vessels open back up we get increased blood flow all through our bodies and to our extremities like our fingers and our toes I'm going to stop doing this because I feel like I'm about to pounce on you. But all we get increased blood flow to our fingers, to our toes. And that's what causes that weird little tingling feeling. It's like, you know, if you cut off the, the blood flow to a certain part of your body. Like I tend to always do this at work. I will sit with like my foot tucked under my bum and then it goes, you know, my foot goes to sleep and then I get like weird pins and needles in my leg when I, you know, when I finally get up and the blood starts to flow back to that foot that's when I get the pins and needles it is basically the same thing is going on when we quit smoking so now for the most part I would say you don't need to be concerned about it it should you know go away very very quickly what I would say to you of course is that if you are super seriously concerned, if there is something in your gut telling you, no, this isn't a symptom of quitting smoking, something is seriously wrong with me, then please, you know, make an appointment, go see a doctor. If something is wrong, they can check it out. If it isn't, and they're likely to be that it isn't, you know, all they're going to say is, no, you're fine, go home. Everything is going to be okay. I have talked before about I do a lot of running and I have to be mindful of the two different types of, of discomfort or the two different types of pain that I'm in. The other week I ran you know, an 18 mile run and my legs were sore afterwards. But I kind of know, okay, this soreness that I'm, that I'm experiencing is because of going through a process that my body isn't used to. Just like, you know, when I quit smoking, certain things happen and they're just a, a result of my body going through something which it isn't used to, which in the case of quitting smoking, it means, you know, it's, it's healing itself. But then sometimes, you know, there'll be a really sharp, intense pain and I know, okay, this isn't, you know, part of my body. This is a warning sign to me that something is wrong and I need to get it checked out. So it's just learning to sort of be mindful about which those might be. And I hope this video today has helped you to determine that, yeah, for the most part, tingling is a fairly normal part of quitting smoking and you are going to be okay. Please know, I should have said this right at the beginning, but I, I tend to feel like it's an obvious thing, but I'll say it anyway. 
I'm not a doctor, I'm not a, a medical professional. I share my experience and, and my advice on based on my own personal experience of quitting smoking, on the experience of, of all the people that join us in our Finding Freedom Facebook group where we have this wonderful community of people who are quitting smoking together. And I also based it on things that I've read, things that I've learned, you know, and from speaking to medical professionals. Speaking of Finding Freedom, I would love for you to come and join us. The link is down in the description below, but it is Finding, uh, sorry, I always do this. It is facebook.com slash, slash groups slash Finding Freedom 1. One of these days I will get that right first time. Not today though. Thank you so much for watching. For more weekly videos on quitting smoking, on addiction, uh, depression and things like that, please do consider subscribing. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Goodbye.